Hello everyone and welcome to Simulacre Plays. This is a brand new game I've been wanting to play for a long time and I just grabbed it off of Steam. It's called Finding Teddy. As you can see, it's a very pixelated type game. About, as far as I know, a little girl or a little boy, I don't remember which, who's trying to find their little teddy bear. So that's about all I know. So let's go to it. Alright, let's get this story. Ah, uh, what? Oh, that got dark really quickly. And it's, I see it's a little girl. Oh, she's so cute. Oh, am I playing? Am I, am I, am I playing? Can't, oh, oh, I don't think I'm playing. Dude, be careful, there's giant spider legs in there. Binding Teddy. Doo -doo -doo. <laughs> oh, wow. Look at this. This is gorgeous. Oh, I'm already super into this. Oh, I unlocked a new picture. Good. Good. Is this a point and click? I don't know what I'm doing. Can't seem to move. Oh. oh okay, I have to actually... Okay. Oh! Hi! Sleeping bullet worm? Can I talk to you? What? What is going? Am I dead? Did I just, I just died. Great, ah, uh, great start. Great start. Great start. Let's leave him alone. Cause he seems to want to eat and digest me. So as you can see, there's not a whole lot of plot. It's just, Giant spider legs came out of my closet to steal my teddy bear. Is this a... Oh, options menu. Oh, no, I don't want to do that. All right, let's, uh, let's grab this. Oh. Maybe I can feed it to that guy? Let's go try to feed it to that guy. Maybe he'll want to eat that instead of my little girl... Oh. Oh. Um, inventory. Yeah, let's give it to you. Don't eat me this time, please. Uh. Oh, now he's a golden bullet blob. Can I talk to you yet? Alright, let's just get the hell on out of here. This game is... Very light on story, like I said, but it's gorgeous. Oh. I have no idea how long this game is, either. I just remember seeing it a long time ago, and oh. Do, 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 do. That looks like musical notation to me. Oh, 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 what are you? What are you? What are you? Apparently I'm leaving. Okay. Grab that bottle. What's with all the shelves, man? Oh. Hello, parrot totem. I guess I'll see you later. One of the reasons I really wanted to cover this game, I do not have a key yet, is because I just saw that they just made a, a Finding Teddy 2. Now whether or not that says that I don't actually find my teddy, or if it's even a, the same girl in the second game, I don't know. What are you? How do I interact with you?
I don't know what this 015 is either. You're friggin' cool looking, I'll say that right now. Oh, Dude, what's wrong? Please don't eat me and kill me. Don't kill me! Oh, he killed me. Ugh. Maybe he wants a bottle. You want a bottle? No, he doesn't want a bottle. Ugh. Ugh. Why does everything want to kill little girls in this place? Honestly. I'm getting the hell on out of here. This game is so cool. I didn't know we were playing Ribbit King. You want the bottle? No. I can't actually do anything with this guy. The music seems to take a pretty big role in this. Man, I have so much respect for people who can do this pixelated art style. It's so good. So good. Oh, 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 yes. Oh, oh, my gaming skills. Bottle of water. Gotten. I don't know what it's supposed to do for me, but I got it. I mean, it was just a few pixel changes to make that, uh, water flow, and it was so good. It reminds me of the old, uh, King's Quest. All this stuff reminds me of King's Quest. Alright, let's go into this tree. See what wants to kill me in here. Can I grab that? Can I... Can I use my water on this tree thing? Eh? Eh? No. Okay. Nothing in here. These little mushroom things, they're bioluminescent. Oh! Oh, I want that. I want to give that to the parrot totem. I don't know how to get that, though. Look, I just want my teddy, alright? That's all I want from this world. Oh! Gray bee. Let's, let's try to, well, let's get murdered by everything in this world first. Oh, no! This is a surprisingly violent game. Well, it seems like to get all the achievements, I'm gonna have to get killed by everything in this game. That plant had blood. Oh, that bee just pooped out a saw for me. Thanks. I'm gonna use the saw on this. No. Okay. Let's keep going. Maybe the gray dude in the hat wanted a saw? I want to try it on this little thing, though. Yep, there we go. Hope it doesn't spurt blood like the other thing. But what is this? Just a stick? It's just a stick. Maybe... I don't know. This is like a... This is definitely a point-and-click type adventure, so it's just like... Use everything on everything. Let's, maybe the frog wants it. Mr. Frog, do you want this stick? No, he does not. That's uh, maybe I can go fill the bottle up again. See, look at that. It's just like a few frames of animation, and it's just 
That's water. That's exactly what water is. It's right there. It's that. Okay, so apparently I cannot fill the bottle up again, so I don't need this water anymore. Alright, let's keep going. I noticed this girl, little girl is also gray. Like all of the other things that want to kill me in this game. I wonder if finding my teddy is going to make me golden like everything else. Uh, let's, let's see if this dude with the weird blocky head and giraffe neck wants this stick. Alrighty. Sir? Do you want a stick? No? Okay. Bye. I'm gonna go. Just want to find out why you're crying and help you. Wait. Okay. No? Okay. Uh. I might officially be lost. Try everything on everything. Do, 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 do. This music's also pretty cool. See, I really feel like I need that feather for this totem. Uh, see, I need a key. I need a key. Unless the stick is the key, which I doubt. No. So let's go all the way back. Despite this being a very shallow story, basically, Spider Legs came out of closet to steal Teddy Bear from Little Girl. Little Girl wants Teddy Bear back. Well, that's not as shallow as I thought, but still, basically, you're looking for your Teddy Bear and why it was taken. It did. This game has done an amazing job in making me interested in what's going on. Hey, buddy, don't kill me again. Like, I'm really interested in the world and the characters, because that guy's cool. The bee was also kind of cool. I don't really care for bees that much, but I, bees in video games are fine. I haven't even gone this way. What am I doing? I mean, I went that way, but... <gasps> hey, frog friends! Oh no, I need to figure out what it was. Crap, what was it? Mm. Well, let's go back and figure it out, because I'm not going to stand here and guess. I think I go back to the Frog King. The Ribbit King, if you will. Give it to me again. Squiggly! Other squiggly! Third squiggly! Okay, I think I got it. Uh, I don't even know how to classify these things. Like, squiggle, other squiggle, two of the same squiggles, and then a orb.
Can't go back. Alright, let's just see if I can remember. I think I got it. Oh, I could double tap it to run. Awesome. Okay, so it was... What? Well, this game is a lot more uh, in-depth than I thought it was going to be. So I think I'm going to leave this here because I was thinking maybe if it was short I'd turn it into a one-off. But this seems like I can do at least, at least two or three games. There are two or three episodes out of this, if not more. So I'd love to keep going with this, so I think I will. So my name is Simulacre, but you can call me Sim. Everybody does. I hope you've enjoyed this episode of Finding Teddy. I am fascinated by this game, and I super love this aesthetic. It's so cool. I mean, I know it's supposed to be... <laughs> I just noticed this. I know this is supposed to be, like, in the water, and that's rippling waves, but it looks like this is, like, space, and these are jets of, like, fuel. Like, this was a spaceship of some sort, and it's just, like, levitating. Anyway. I just thought I had to mention that. All right, thank you so much for joining me on this one, and I hope to see you next time. See you later.